Good morning from Yellowknife and Hay River. It's Christmas Eve. About to do the news. Coming now, up on 6 o'clock. Live from the MyYellowKnifeNow.com newsroom. This is Moose FM News. Good morning. I'm Ollie. It's Moose FM News time. Since it's Christmas, the news is delivered in rhyme. It was the day before Christmas, and at Buffalo Airways, not an aircraft was stirring, nor that many mice. Transport Canada's suspension seems to be biting since Buffalo's cancelled all passenger flights. Suspended, they can't fly planes of their own, but till now they've been chartering planes from elsewhere. After three weeks suspended and a million bucks spent, the cash to keep going simply ain't there. The next voice you'll hear is Mikey McBrien. He's the Buffalo rep. Here's what he had to say. Yeah, you probably get pretty close to a million. Not a Christmas gift that we wanted to give away. Now, the question's how long this suspension will linger, with jobs on the line and no flights in the air. McBrien thinks things could drag on a month longer, but he adds his airline will still be there. Sol Tabodas, a specialist hired by Buffalo to help fix the problem, he says it looks bleak. If I was the ownership of Buffalo, I probably would have laid off my people last week. Now, a short pause, then more items of news. We begin with the Mounties, who've been seizing booze. In hamlets like Norman Wells and Toledo, there's only so much liquor you can bring in. Police have found far too much beer and vodka, but so far we've no news related to gin. More than 13 litres of vodka impounded, three Toledo women have charges pending. Police say anyone bootlegging liquor can expect a similar unhappy ending. Now lastly, some news of a candy cane crisis affecting residents Canada-wide. It seems that a scarcity is gripping the nation because not enough of them have been supplied. According to people who make festive candy, a well-known producer went out of business, so you might find your candy quite tricky to come by. But please, don't you let that ruin your Christmas. And that's all the news for now, said the newsreader with a plum. For all our local stories and more, go to myyellowknifenow.com.